What's up, fellow fans of MTG? Jeremy here, MTG Headquarters, doing what I do, crazily cracking old booster boxes, packs, intra packs, whatever, wasting my money for everyone's general entertainment. So this one's a little different. I actually got a PM from uh, somebody at MassDrop.com, and I'd never heard of them, but they wanted to give me some free cards. So I said, yes, please. Um, as long as I can open them up on the channel. And uh, so I guess the deal with uh, Mass Drop is, um, I guess the people who are the community members create like a product poll uh, for any, anything like magic cards or homebrew beer kits or whatever. Once the poll gets at least 200 votes, they negotiate bulk pricing um, with suppliers. And then they do like a group buy and it runs for seven days with three price drops. Um, for example, like the last, what really got my attention was the last uh, Magic Community thing they did was they worked together for an Innistrad um, three-pack group buy. I think they ended up getting up uh, almost 4,200 packs in four days, uh, almost clearing out the entire North American inventory. So um, I'm going to have to check them out. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below to their website. Um, Steve L. Hogg, their CEO, sent me this box. So normally you know me and I bought you no sponsor, but they made no request. They didn't say I had to tell you to do anything. They didn't say I had to say anything. So being the broke magic player I am, I said, heck yeah, I'll open some up. And they're also gonna help me with a giveaway. So stay tuned for more information on that from the folks at MassDrop.com. Um, normally, yeah, normally I tell sponsors, you know, like, hey, not interested. But uh, these guys necessarily don't sell magic, or they don't sell magic cards necessarily. They just kind of like help people buy. Like, I guess what they do is, you know, they find a way to do some bulk pricing. And, um, you know, then everybody wins, right? So we're gonna follow the normal format of 12, 12, and 12. And then when I finish all 36 packs, they said they will help me do something awesome as a giveaway. So check out their website. I'm gonna check it out and see if they have anything going on, but maybe that means we can get like Modern Masters. You know, at the time this is coming out, we get maybe some Modern Masters or something like that. It's super cheap, I don't know. I don't know a lot about Innistrad pricing right now other than um, Liliana's pretty insane. We've got a Rage Thrower. Oh, snap. Let's go back. Gasp of Phantoms. Mask of Avacyn. Rage Thrower. And our first... Um, I don't know. First rare is a Buddy Land or a whatever. A dual Land. Hinterland Harbor. I like it. And then we have a Delver of Secrets. And our flip card... Wait, Delver Secrets, I thought was our flip card. Yep, and then we have a foil Blood Craze Neonet. What else is in this in, in this rod that we could really be looking for here? Um, Huntmaster, right? As I try to like angle the uh, viewfinder so that I can see better. I'm trying to look through another foil, geez. All right. Boneyard Worm, Memory's Journey, Rage Thrower, and our rare is a Creeping Renaissance. Five drop, sor five drop sorcery. Choose a permanent type. Return all cards from the chosen type from your graveyard to your hand. Not too baddy. Got a tip card and a foil Gastoff Howler. What else could we be looking for in Innistrad? Huntmaster in here? I think he is. Huntmaster of the Fells, Liliana. This is actually a really valuable set right now. I kind of want, like, if I can negotiate some bulk pricing, I'd love to get some more Innistrad. Uh, Trip Nation Blade, Diagraph Ghoul, Murder of Crows. Oh, we have a Mythic. Geist of St. Traft. Geist! Uh, Tutu, Hexproof. Whenever Geist of St. Traft attacks, Put a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. 
exile that token at the end of combat. So we got a um, a a shock duel thingy land and a Geist of Saint Trap. I think people are still playing Geist, right? In standard. Pretty sick card. Pack number three. We've got a Diagraph Ghoul. A Bramble Crush. A Moan of the Unhallowed. Hey, an Isolated Chapel. Wow. Pretty good card so far in, in four packs. And our flip card is a Villager of Eswald. We got two, um, what do you call them? Not Buddy Lands, but, um, I don't know. They're not shock lands, really, because they come into play tap, but you don't have the option to do damage to yourself. Oh, isn't um, Cavern of Souls in here, too, I think? Well, Falconrath Noble, Fiend Hunter, Intangible Virtue, and a Laboratory Maniac. Three drop for 2-2. Two, two. If you would draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. <laughs> And our flippy is a reckless waif. Innistrad was actually one of the first sets that I really got into when I got back into Magic. Um, Innistrad and like Dark Ascension; those are the two first like big ones that I that I kind of bought heavy into. So, relatively familiar. Curiosity, Rally the Peasants, Cellar Door, and our rare is a Sever the Bloodline, a four drop. Exile target creature and all other creatures with the same name as that creature. And we've got a Screeching Bat flip card and a Foil Makeshift Mauler. So have any of you guys used this uh, MassDrop.com? You know, to be honest, have they have like reached out to me and said like, hey, we're going to give you a box of the most current set to like, you know, mention our website. I probably would have been like, meh. But at the time, they offered me Innistrad, and I was like, dude, there's a Liliana's worth like 50 bucks right now, so I'll take that. <laughs> um, especially if they're going to do a giveaway, too. Dissipate, Butcher's Cleaver, Arbitar Ghoul, and Skur's Dag High Priest. Two drop for a 1-2 with Morbid. You just tap, um, to tap two untapped creatures you control, put a 5-5 five, five black demon creature. And then we have our flip card, Thraben Sentry. The, um, it's kind of funny to go back to Innistrad here for a minute and, like, when I, like, open Gate Crash, it's like the rare is the last card in the pack or whatever. And with Innistrad, there's, like, so many cards after that with your flip card and everything. Dissipate. Uh, Geist Catcher's Rig. Morcoot Banshee. And a Moreland Hunt. Uh, this is a tap dead one colorless and also for a white and a blue... Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Put a 1-1 white spirit creature token into play. Oh, and we got a Ludovex text sub test subject. Sweet to get a flip. Crummy to be this card. <laughs> Do draft for an 3 defender, and you could pay one. Put a hatch encounter on it. Then if there are five or more hatch encounters, flip it. It becomes a 13-13. Did anybody play that card? So I'm saying, like, I'm thinking as I'm opening this, like, I wonder if they would, like, be able to negotiate mass buys of vintage stuff. Obviously, I'm not talking about, like, revise and everything, but I should email them. Village Cannibals, Invisible Stalker, Graveyard Shovel, and a rare is a Nevermore. Uh, pay one colorless and two white. As Nevermore enters the battlefield, name an online card. That name card cannot be cast. <laughs> All right. That's a good kitchen table card, right? And a Ulevin Mystics. No absolutely crazy cards yet. No um, Cavern of Souls. If that, or that might be Dark Ascension. I'm not sure. Um, no Huntmasters. No Lilianos. But some fun cards nonetheless. Slayer of the Wicked. Uh, Trepanation Blade, 
Gallows Warden, and our rare is Mold Graph Monstrosity. Seven drop, three green. Eight eight trample when it dies, exile it, and then return two creature cards at random from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. Oh, and our flip card is another rare, Bloodline Keeper. Uh, four drop flying for a three three flyer. Plus tap, put a two two vampire creature token with flying onto the battlefield, which is awesome. Pay one to transform it. And he comes a five five flyer, and other vampires you control get plus two plus two, with also a tap to put a vampire token. Well, that card's no joke. So thanks, Master Up. Curious to try out their site. <clears throat> I'm more curious curious what's in this pack. Ghost Quarter. Spectral Rider. Battleground Geist. And a rare is back from the brink. Six drop. Exile a creature card from your graveyard and pay its mana cost. Put a token on the battlefield that's a copy of that card. Activate its only ability once. Jesus. Okay, so you're paying six, plus you got to play the mana cost. Good luck with that. And a village ironsmith is our flip card. Last Innistrad pack. God, it's been so long since I've opened Innistrad. I'm actually having a ton of fun opening this up. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. As always, you know I'll give away these cards. Boneyard Worm. Desperate Ravings. Make a Wish. An Unbreathing Horde. Three drop. Unbreathing Horde enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each zombie you control and each zombie card in your graveyard. Okay. And our flip card is a Tormented Parish. So that, friends and family of the channel, is the first set of 12 packs of Innistrad as graciously sent to me by MassDrop.com. I'm going to check them out. If we can do something together, you know, since our channel now is like four or 5,000 subscribers strong, I wonder if we can get some pretty crazy pricing. I'll have to check that out. But uh, if you are new to the channel, please make sure and take a moment to subscribe. And uh, if you want to chat about anything Magic the Gathering related, make sure you use the comment section down below. I try to answer just about every comment. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll talk to you again real soon.